Well, <clears throat> good morning. Oh, I got a freaking cramp. Jeez. So, I get a flag last night. Nothing happened. Nothing on the rattle wheel. I don't even think I saw a single fish on the panoptics. I had it on all night just watching. And, uh, but right now I'm gonna get up at 6.30. I'm gonna go outside, switch over the fat heads, put shiners on, and, uh, get ready for the morning bite. Hopefully it's better than it was last night because, or yesterday afternoon into last night, because not even one flag. So, all right, Sunday morning, early February. The ice is melting. I have a ton of water in here from a heater last night. Uh, the cot was pretty nice. It wasn't bad. I wish I had one of those little air mattresses to put on top of it though but uh, yeah I'm a bigger guy but yeah this thing held me up held me just fine so anyhow I'm gonna get out there get the shiners on get some uh some dead uh, smelt hanging and we're gonna get on some big gators okay guys I was just going out to get set up uh switch over fat heads but I had dead bait on this on my rod here already on the iFish Pro 6.30 in the morning this just went off I think that was a uh, a drop and go because I can still see uh, the um, whew, it's early. I'm trying to get my words together. Pretty sure that was a drop and go because I can still see my bobber stop right there, and it's not pulling any line out. But I'm gonna just give them a minute and see and just make sure because sometimes they grab it they will grab it and they'll just sit there and chew on it but let's just give them a minute see if they'll take a run that's a good sign though that's a good sign Right away in the morning, 6.30. I like that. Yesterday it was so dead. Hope you like the color, the sweatpants. <laughs> I literally just got out of bed. All right, I'm gonna pull this up, and just check it. I'm about 90% sure there's nothing there. But, oh, that probably didn't help. There it is, ice. That's what I was coming out to do, clean everything up. Yeah, so it was a definitely drop and go he grabbed it I'm sure it didn't help that uh stuff was kind of frozen like I said I just got up I was coming out check everything all right 
we're back in business. He'll be back. He's hungry. It's early. He's hungry. Hey, what's up guys? So, what I'm doing here on this video, we're trying something a little different. I'm trying to get my subscribers up. We're doing a lot of videos and a lot of people are watching them, but a lot of people just won't hit the subscribe button. I don't know why. I mean, maybe you just don't like me. I don't know. But we're going to try something different. But you have to stay. You have to watch all the way to the end of the video to see what the, the giveaway is. I'm going to have a little giveaway this time. And uh, in the meantime, until we get there, while I'm slicing up this fish, I just got back from Minnesota. Just hammered the walleye and pipe. Uh, I mean, the uh, yeah, the walleye and big perch out there. I'll be slicing these up, filleting them. I'll be watching my videos. I'll be watching some of the other people's videos too. But watch till the end. We got a little giveaway that we're going to do. So we'll see you guys at the end of the video if you stick around that long. Got a little, got a little giveaway for you. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Flag number two of the morning but we'll see what it is because I just put those big shiners on here and I'm not positive that these big shiners won't just uh, pop the flag themselves they're really big shiners so let's see Nothing spinning yet. Yeah, it's kind of what I was afraid of. If I had to guess, I'm going to say it's a shiner. Did it. Nothing's turning. No movement. Like I said, when you walk up on these, even though I did put a, even though I did put a huge shiner on there, you still never know if a pike grabbed it. And a lot of times they'll just grab it <clears throat> and they'll sit right there and they'll just chew on it, or they'll just keep it in their mouth and just sit there for a couple of minutes. So give it a little bit of time before you just go and pop the flag. I mean, I get excited all the time, too, and I, sometimes I go too early, but we're going to check this one. I'm going <clears> to... <throat> yeah, it's just a big shiner. Big shiner. This is what we got rigged up right here. Big shiner, he's definitely strong enough to pop the flag himself, so. All right, we got another flag going off in the back back here right now. While I was checking that one, just had this flag pop off in the back, so. All right, we got some action, but once again, that might be another shiner. I got a big shiner on that guy as well. If they do keep popping my flags, I'm going to have to uh, probably cut their tail. Cut their tail off so they can't swim as hard. It's pretty funny, I got some flags and these lights going off and you just see people getting closer and closer. Okay. 
Okay, we got something on there. But it did take a couple turns, but it could be that big shiner again. So we're gonna give them a minute. Before we uh, do anything. Yeah. Shiners are gonna be a problem. They're too strong. I'm gonna have, I even got them on the uh, strong setting, but yeah, dang it. Once again, big, strong shiner. We'll give them one more chance not to pop my flag before I cut, cut their tails. All right, so we got another, another alarm going off, but I'm not too confident. It's, I've already had two flags pop with the big, with the uh, huge shiners on them, so I'm probably pretty sure that's probably what this is. I'm going to have to do something with those things because I don't want to keep running out here dealing with them. All right, well, it's spinning. Definitely spinning. That doesn't look like a shiner spin. Okay. Definitely doesn't look like a shiner spin. We're gonna let him walk with it for a little bit. Yesterday, a couple fish that we did get were, uh, they were just grabbing the body, grabbing the tail, and as soon as, as, soon as we'd hit them, as soon as we'd hit them, they would uh, let go. So this guy here is really running, though. He's running for the deep. Actually, doesn't feel real big. No, oh, it's not real huge. Oh, there he goes. Didn't like that. Yeah, it looks like about a 24 maybe. I did just get a. Did just get a shot of him. There it goes. Does not like that hole at all. Well, he might be a little better fish than I thought, actually. Yes! Okay, a little bit better of a fish than I thought. Nice. That's not a bad pike, you guys. Not a bad pike. Not a bad fish at all. jaw spreaders with you guys if you're gonna be fishing pike all right you guys that's what the big big old mr. pike looks like another good shot right here okay nice pike not bad <clears throat> not bad 
Nice fight, Mr. Pike. There he goes. He is ready. Woo! Yes. Nice fish. Nice fish. We've been waiting for that bad boy. Yes. Finally. All right, guys. Here we go. I was just outside checking the iFish Pro. This flag popped up. This is the one I just caught that last pike on. I did put another big shiner on there, so let's see. Uh, I don't see anything spinning yet. This is a hot hole right now. Hot hole. Okay. Get that taken care of. He just took a little run. That's, uh... Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Oh, this feels like a... This feels like a decent fish. Oh, now he gave up. Already? Okay. I'm actually wearing the gloves because I got 50 pound spider wire on here. I switched over this year and it has been tearing my fingers up. I gotta find a different line to run that doesn't, uh, oh, jeez. I haven't seen them yet. Haven't seen them yet. Oh, he is going everywhere. This might be a decent fish. So I switched over to 50 pound spider wire because the ice line that you get, just, I can't get enough on, on the reel. Oh, this is a decent fish, you guys. Come here, buddy. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, there he goes. He is not happy. He did not like that. He's hooked good though. He's not going anywhere. He's hooked good. He's hooked real good. So yeah, leave me a comment. What are you guys running on your tip up lines? Cause I don't like really like wearing gloves. I like to be able to feel. This is a decent fish, you guys. This is a decent. Fish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a nice fish. Yes. Yes. Nice fish, man. Is he? All right, buddy. You work with me. I'll work with you. Oh, dang it! Come on. Come here. not cooperating. There 
there it goes. Oh, this fish is strong. This fish is strong. All right, here's the deal, guys. What a beauty. What a beauty. That's it, guys. That's what we're looking for right there. It's late ice. It's early February. This might be the last week in here, central Wisconsin. We're doing it. We are on today. Back to back. Low 30s pikes. He was pushing a little bit bigger, 34, 35. I didn't measure him because I had to had him get him back in. But yes, we are on him. I'm pumped. Sweet. Okay, guys. Flags are absolutely flying right now iFish Pro just popped and uh, this one we have 8 inch uh, smelt on it let's see what we got so I definitely know this isn't a big shiner jumping off oh yeah he's ripping line he's ripping line you guys Alright, let's see what we got. He is definitely... Well, he definitely was ripping line. Let's check the drag. Make sure everything's good. There he goes. Oh! Oh, he's still there. I didn't have the drag. I didn't have the drag set. It was too loose. That was my fault. <laughs> oh. That was my fault. I didn't have the drag set. Oh my goodness. When I went to give him the beans, it just slipped. And then he was there, but then he let go. All right, guys, the bite is absolutely crazy right now. It's hard for me to keep up. I'm relining this one because uh, that last one I caught, the pike, or the, yeah, the pike actually took the trouble just a little too far, and I didn't want to kill the fish by trying to yank it out. So normally the best you can do is just cut the line and leave the trouble there, and it'll, it'll, work it's it'll work its way out um eventually so that was a case there that you just have to you just have to cut the line because if you try to go in like a surgeon you're just going to kill the fish and if it's if you're not keeping it if you're not eating it you don't want to do that just cut the line the hook will take care of itself the fish the acid and all that will work its way out so it's much better in that circumstance to do that so right now i'm trying to get another rig tied up but in the meantime while i'm doing this um, I just had another flag pop, but missed that one. My fault. Didn't have the drag set. Uh, rookie move. I don't have a whole lot of experience with that. So with that rod and reel, so to get the feel of what it's like to set set the hook with that. Because uh, when I just hand, when I just check it, drag with the hand, it's different than when you you know give it the beans. So my fault. We'll get them on the next one. Okay. There's no freaking way this hole is on fire right now but i did just put that new shiner on there so oh, i just got this one redone i was going over to move my other guy out that's in the shallow move him out a little deeper with these guys i literally haven't had this one in for oh yeah it's running i haven't had this one in for two minutes i just walked back to the to the shed or to the shack okay it was running let's see took a pretty good spin right there that really didn't look like a shiner spin oh yeah there we go okay
Alright, he's, he's moving. So, let's get him. Let's... Drop it? No way. There he is. I thought he dropped it. I didn't feel him there. Once again, that's what happens. They get it, and they'll just sit there. And I was bringing him in. He was actually, I was actually tugging him just nice and easy, and I didn't feel his weight. But he was running so good. Well, this guy's not even fighting. What's going on? I haven't even had this in two minutes. This is it, guys. This might be, oh, he saw the hole and he left. This is it, guys. This is last, might be last ice. Okay, another decent fish. Not as big as the last ones. Okay, hopped out of the hole. He wanted to be topside. All right, buddy, topside. You did it. Don't you get me. Oh, he is fired up. That is a... I cannot believe he ate the size shiner that he did. Quit. I cannot believe he ate that shiner. Oh, he is not happy right now. Wow. Okay, this hole is absolutely on fire. Which is crazy because all day yesterday we were here. My buddy Rick was here for most of the day. I think he said he had two flags. Okay, guys, that's what I'm talking about. If you're going to pike fish, jaw spreaders is a must. Okay. Just that easy. Just that easy. All right, guys. You want to check out this little guy. He's not big at all, but he's a little fighter. He's a little fighter. This hole is on fire right now. Okay, he's going to, this little guy. There he goes. Some elbows. Ready? Tail stiffening up. There it goes. All right. <laughs> Couldn't ask for perfect timing. Like I said, this might be the last weekend. I still got something in store for you guys, though. I'm not done. I'm not done. We might be going somewhere else. But right now, we are on them. Well, I must say, it was, uh, it's been a fun morning, a very fun morning. I got here, I had to work yesterday, it was Saturday. Worked till noon, got here late, my buddy Rick was here. Bite was slow. So, fished all afternoon, didn't get one flag. But I already had plans on camping here, so camping out tonight because I knew the ice was gonna diminish here in Madison. This week might be the last of it, it's gonna hit 50 degrees, we're gonna have a little bit of rain with lows on the overnight of only 40 degrees, so. I wanted to come out, do a little camping thing, and uh, it was a good time. And it paid off because this morning, Sunday morning, between 8 and 9.30 has just been hectic. It has been run, 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 trying to, I had to move one shallow out to deep, and that one hole has just been a hot hole. I think I got three fish, maybe four fish out of that hole that I missed. But what can you do? You know, you can't catch them all. So we're going to give it another couple more hours here because I want to get home kind of early today. I got stuff to do. But uh, so far, so good. Hopefully we can get at least. Um... I just wanted to say something uh, while I got it out. Um, a lot of people said to me that the Garmin, that the battery that comes with the Garmin, um, I got the, this is the newest model you can get this year. Uh, the LVS 34. And it comes with this battery and people were just bashing it saying oh it only lasts four hours it only lasts five hours and it, okay so i charged it before i came out here and uh i drilled the hole i put the i put it in at six o'clock last night 
The Garmin battery lasted 12 hours, 12 and a half hours. It went out at 6.30 this morning. I just had it on all night, just sitting there on a live scope, just watching to see if I could see any fish, and I wanted to test the battery. So I don't know if they started out with a new battery or if they started putting a different battery in, in recently or not, but uh, so far so good. This battery, 12 and a half hours I got out of it. I actually had so much, it made me nervous that it only lasts four hours, that I went out and bought the, the Dakota Lithium 20 amp, or the 20 hour, and uh, heck, I didn't even, I, unless I'm camping for a couple days, I don't even really need that battery, because this sucker lasts a whole day when you're on the ice, and I, that's what I was worried about, that it wouldn't last a whole day if I was sitting in, inside the... Um, shanty here like jigging for walleyes or whatever but yeah if you're just out for one day this battery good deal unbelievable i believe this is number six the sixth time this hole i mean this flag has popped this has been a hot hole so Oh yeah, she's running too. She is running. All right, took a little pause there. I was just packing up all my gear. I pretty much thought the bite was over for the day. Well, at least for the morning. So I'm gonna start packing up, get heading out. Okay. Was just running a second ago. Get our flag taken care of. I mean, our magnet taken care of on the vulture. I'm telling you, there's nothing better than these vultures. Tip up fishing. I'm sitting there packing up everything, and I don't have to. I don't have to watch it. Just get a little alert on the handheld and here we come out. All right, so it's not spinning. I did see it taking a nice run on my way out here and I don't think that was a shiner run. We'll give it another second, couple, we'll give it another little bit. goes directly underneath me. I'd like to see it take another run before I... Last couple days I had been a little too jumpy. Jumped the gun early. Definitely saw it. Oh yeah, I think he's there. Oh yeah, there he is. Wow. That's what they do. They just sit there. They sit on the, they'll grab it and they'll just sit on the bottom and chew on it for... feel real small not huge I think when he sees that hole though he's gonna be taking another run oh, there it goes he didn't like that I haven't even seen him yet though he didn't even see the hole yet oh, oh. oh there where is he there's my leader oh it's not bad Not bad. Low 30s. Low 30s. Where are you at? Oh, he does not like that hole. Oh, there he goes. 
I think I'm wrong about low 30s. I think he's high 20s. This hole has been on fire today. It makes me not want to leave now. Come here. There he is. Whoa! That was awesome. That was awesome. Man, the way he opened up. Oh man, there's my trouble right there. Don't get squirrely. Oh! Not a huge fish, guys, but not a bad fish. Oh, that was awesome, the way he came up out of the hole right there. That was great. He's not a monster, but he... He's not bad. Hey, guys. Give you a little shot of him here. Nice pike. Beautiful colors on this guy. Look at him. Look at them teeth. Look at them teeth. What a savage. What a savage. All right, let's get this little savage back. What a savage. Ah, these fish are awesome. There it goes. About ready. What a savage. <laughs> oh, they fight so good. Not the biggest one of the day. He probably fought the hardest. Ah, look at the colors on this guy. He's just beautiful. Oh, there goes the tail. Straighten it out right there. There's the tail. Stiffen it up. And he's ready. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> ah, gotta love it. Bear Hug Outdoors. We are crushing them today. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This hole is the hot hole. For the 300th subscriber, I'm going to be paying attention. I'm going to be watching on my emails to see who, who gets to number 300. For the 300th subscriber, we're going to have a little... What is this? Five pack? One, two, three. A little five pack giveaway. Okay. We got the old, uh, the original rattle trap. Spring's coming. Walleyes are going to be nailing this. Walleyes, big pike, whatever. We're going to be giving that away. We're going to be giving the Rapala the OG series. You know, that's going to hammer some big fish right there. Springtime's coming. Walleye killer. Crappie killer. The little nippers. Walleye Slayer, Crappie Slayer, okay? The little Joe Harness, you can never go wrong with, what is this, the, flo the Floating Worm Harness. Another walleye killer fishing on the bottom. Catch walleyes, catch catfish, whatever, but 300 subscriber gets this. I'll be counting. Once I see who, who it is, I'll reply back to you. And then um, I'll, you reply back to me, Leave you, then you can um, uh, DM me. Leave me your uh, address and I'll send this to you in the mail. Thanks for watching Bear Hook Outdoors.